Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese, and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. You know, you can create invitations to school events with a gate folded card. And I have one here that I've created for open house. You can see that it's called a gate folded card because the card opens in the middle just like a gate. It has butterflies that act as the handles to the card. Your students are going to love decorating and making their own butterflies. And then inside, you have the invitation information. So in this case, I've handwritten, you're invited to open house. And of course, you'd have all the information down here. I've left it so that the students can handwrite that information as well. You could also do this on the computer and run it off. But in order to begin, we need to look first at how easy it is to create a gate folded card. So if you take your paper and you fold it, in half so that it is the size that you want your card to be. This is how you would normally open a card. Now I'm going to use this middle fold as my guide for where to bring in each of the ends of the paper. So I bring this into the fold line and I bring the other end into the fold line so that they meet in the middle. And that easily you've created a gate card. You do have this fold line, but remember, you're going to have information that's going to get fastened right over here, and it's going to cover right over that fold, so it really isn't going to matter. The other thing that you need to do is create the handles. And if you look back at mine, you can see that what I did was I used butterflies. So what I did first is I die cut two of the butterfly shapes. And at this point, I would hand them out to the students and let them decorate the heck out of them. They can just have go to town. You can see that what I've done is I've used black to add some detail. And then I've gone back over with a white pen and just added dots and even some sort of stripes. But I've decorated the whole butterfly. And once the kids have decorated those butterflies, then you want to fold them. And it's best to fold them together. So put them in a stack together and fold them right down the center. So this happens to be a symmetrical shape, but this works even with shapes that aren't symmetrical. Once you have those folds, it's going to be easy to attach one to here and one to here. And when it closes, you're going to have one solid looking butterfly. So I'll put a little adhesive on here so you can see how this is going to work. So if I place this and press down so that adhesive sticks on one side and then you're going to actually want more adhesive than that, but this will be enough for it to show how to build this. Then what I want to do is bring this around, and I'm going to maneuver this around until I can see that it's positioned to create one solid butterfly, and then press. And that creates the handles. Remember, the kids are going to have it all fully decorated. And then it's just time to go back and add in the open house information. Put your adhesive cover right over that middle fold line so you don't even notice that anymore. And look at how quickly and easily you can create a really cool invitation. You know, invitations to things like open house and back to school night, they're super special when they're handmade by you and your students.